All right, so some of you guys out there might be thinking, why do I have to over layer thick hair to get a good result, to get a nice skinny result? Well, today what I'm gonna share with you guys is how I like to layer thick hair to get a great result every single time, tons of texture, tons of volume, but not create two shorter layers throughout. So what I'm gonna do is break down the sectioning for you guys. We're gonna start off creating a nice fringe section. What I'm looking for here is I go about two inches up above the forehead, and then I follow that hairline straight down. I do the same thing on the the sides here separating the front and the back so I look for the hair that wants to fall into the back and I look for the hair that wants to fall into the side and that's where I section it uh, straight down that hairline in the back so now I've got three sections the front the middle and the back I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then we're gonna get started in cutting this haircut All right, so as we move into the back, one thing I wanna clarify about this video is that I know somebody out there is thinking, Matt, this is not thick hair. I understand that, it's a mannequin. I'm showing you guys technique. I like to work through techniques, whether it's a thick hair mannequin or thin hair. I'm thinking scenario, I'm thinking education. So let's walk through this technique. So what I'm doing in the back here, uh, slight diagonal forward, horizontal sections in the very back of the head, right along that occipital bone area. I twist those two sections up and away, and then I'm gonna start working a nice balanced line in the back. And what I mean by balance is I want it to be really parallel with my shoulders. When I'm standing, looking at the back of the head, I want everything to come straight back to me. You can see how I'm pulling that out. Uh, I'm gonna start by cutting vertically and straight out from the head. It's gonna be a slight uh, over 90 degree feel to this haircut. So we're gonna be creating seamless layers in the back, but I want it to still have a little bit of weight. So one of the challenges when we over layer hair is it ends up looking too thin on the bottom. So right here in this bottom section, I don't wanna over elevate it because if I do that, then it's gonna skinny it up too much. I'm also working my way across uh, using a traveling guide. So notice that I pull that new, that guide to the new hair. So I pull the guide halfway there and then the new hair meets it halfway. And that's how I travel across. The reason I'm doing that is because if I over direct that new hair all the way to the guideline, then I start to get a little extra length by the end of this section. I wanna keep everything nice and even all the way across, nice balanced section. So I work my way all the way across in the back and then we're gonna move into the next section. All right, so now we're moving up the head shape. So what I wanna do is I'm going to section this into two parts. I got my uh, crown area, which I'm gonna take away using a horizontal line in the very top, twist that up, get it out of the way. That's gonna be my longer uh, section of hair. And now I'm gonna work on that interior weight uh, issue with thick hair and volume and all of that. I wanna create shorter pieces within the interior of the cut. So I'm gonna use concave layering, which is a collapsed layer. I'm gonna remove tons of weight in there. And you can see already it kind of builds up a little bit and that's gonna help uh, with blow drying, with volume, all of those things, but also taking out weight. So I'm gonna work my way across. Now I'm working the round of the head now. So no more balanced shape in the back. I want that balanced shape underneath but now I'm gonna work a round shape as I work around the round of the head. So still traveling guide, following the head shape all the way around, creating these concave layers. So you can see as I'm working around this corner, I don't wanna over direct it back now. So I'm not trying to push weight behind the ear. So I just continue that round of the head all the way around. So it's coming straight out from where it lives. All right, so now we're gonna repeat the same process on the left-hand side. I'm gonna take out that crown area. I'm gonna work those round concave layers all the way around the round of the head using that traveling guide. So here we go. All right now, so as we finish that up, this is where things could get a little bit tricky in your mind. I don't want you to think about that bottom anymore. 
what you're thinking about is where do you want these layers on the very top to sit? And you wanna make sure that you cut them exactly 90 degrees or above so that you get a seamless layered effect and you don't get a pile of weight laying down on the head shape. So I'm working my way around the round of the head. I've got longer layers because I want this to have a longer layer feel. And then those shorter layers underneath are gonna help support and also take away obviously that weight uh, throughout the cut. So everything straight up 90 degrees following that head shape. You'll see me even recomb and shift and take that corner away. That's where some of that weight would be. And I just work my way around the round of the head, cutting in those 90 degree layers. Now moving into the side section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this into two parts as well. We're gonna have top and bottom. So right at that parietal ridge area, I section all the way across horizontally, and I kind of kind of push that top section away. And then I'm gonna work on this bottom section. I'm gonna show you guys a technique that's really cool for removing tons of weight. Again, we're working with super thick hair, and this is gonna come straight out, and we're gonna create a face frame effect with the layering. So what I do is I kind of scoop motion with my hands and I work that blade open and close. I'm gonna show you guys an overhead view here. And I just kind of decide where I want those layers to hit around the face. And then I work my way sliding the hair through my fingers and cutting as I go, which creates a nice short to long effect. Very similar to concave layering. If you guys wanted to do that on the side, you could do that as well. Or if you wanna try out this technique, it's super fun. You can see the layering and you also see that short to long effect that we created. So everything got over directed to that front section and just cut with that scooping motion. We're gonna do the same thing on this opposite side as well. So just so it's clear as I work on the second side here, guys, I'm using a stationary guide at this point. So everything's coming to that first cut line and I just keep moving my way back. So what that does is it pushes weight to the back of the head. So I just continue moving that scissor blade, but, but again, I'm over directing it to the same point on the left-hand side as well. Okay, so now as I move into the top of the head, uh, this is a pretty cool way to cut uh, face frame as well. Just kind of over direct everything forward and above, uh, about above the nose and just continue working that through. What that's gonna do is give you guys a short to long feel in the front, face frame layers, but also tons of layers popping through this to create lots of volume movement in a thick head of hair. All right, so now we're gonna move uh, into the blow dry. I'm using my Minerva blow dryer. I'm gonna blast this thing dry real quick, do a, a nice flat wrap technique. Now, remember, I didn't cut the fringe yet. We're gonna cut that uh, in the dry cut. I'm using the Matt Beck Velcro clip that's brand new on our shop. Check out Shop FSE. FSE is in free salon education. You can pick up the brushes, the clips, the, the scissors, the combs, everything that I'm using on this video besides the Dyson iron, uh, you can pick up on our shop for purchase. Uh, so check that out. I'm gonna go through, iron everything nice and smooth, get it ready for the dry cut. The Velcro clips are great because um, they hold the hair back, but they don't get stuck in the hair, but they'll hold an entire big section of dry hair 
for dry hair cutting. So dry hair cutting is one of my favorite things, uh, hence the clips uh, as well. So I'm using my Mizutani Matt Beck Edition scissor uh, with a 339 YS part comb, all available on our shop. And I just work my way through. Now I cut that blunt line. Look at the fullness of this haircut. Um, obviously it's a little skinny on the ends, but remember this is uh, not thick hair, even though we're cutting a technique for thick hair. So it looks full, looks blunt on the ends. I go through, I do a little detail work using a dry cutting scissor. This is the Matt Beck edition, not out yet, uh, hopefully soon. And then I'm going to work this fringe, which is a really cool technique where I just take it. I twist it to one side, completely twist it over. And I'm going to do a tease cutting technique, which is a half open, half close of the scissor. I push the scissor in T's cut it so I create different lengths so as I'm half closing it and then you'll see what happens and the effect that we get here so look just T's cut through and then I walk to the other side of the head I pinch it all on my hands again and I do that same thing if you wanted it to be just a side fringe then you'd stop there but we're gonna create a nice curtain fringe with it and then look at that it goes back and forth and now I'm just gonna do a slight bit of point cutting just to soften it up even more uh, right in that midpoint, but you can see the longest point is in the very center from that tease cutting and now we'll be able to uh, style it up. So give it a little bend with the iron. I'm going to give it a little curl with the iron. So you guys can see that waved effect. You can see the volume that we're creating with this uh, haircut and then the tools combined. Uh, it's just a beautiful end result. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this haircut. If you feel like you can use it on your clients, I hope you can. Uh, I'm gonna finish with a little beach shake from Joyco, add a little bit of texture to it, and then watch this, I take her head off and I shake it around. Wish I could do that with the clients, it would be so much easier. But look at all those layers exploding and popping out of this uh, look. Hope you guys like it, I love it. I can't wait to see you guys doing it. Make sure you tag me on Instagram at Free Salon Education when you use this technique. I'd love to see it. Uh, let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Got tons of videos coming out all the time. And make sure you go download the FSE Now app uh, on the App Store. Thanks so much for watching.